two shootings this weekend, bringing the number to four so far just this month in the city, a total of five victims. And while these uh, types of crimes are not exactly new to Albany, there are concerns about the recent frequency. News 10 ABC's Amy Cutler speaking to the chief of police and residents about this spike. Amy? Lydia, both are concerned. The police chief tells me that his department is actively investigating all these cases. He says that none of them appear to be gang related. They appear to be four separate incidents. Yet to date, no arrests have been made. I'm not pleased about it, but it's almost an everyday occurrence. Jerome Green is referring to gun violence in the latest shooting. Well, that happened right across the street from where he lives in broad daylight yesterday. Police say they were called to the 400 block of Elk Street. A 46 year old man had been shot. Does it make you concerned for your own safety? It always, I mean, it has to. If you, I mean, if you, if you're, if you care about anything, it's going to make you feel that way. Police confirm that was the second shooting in Albany in less than 24 hours. Late Saturday night on South Pearl Street, authorities say two men, a 30 year old and 31 year old, were shot. Part of a recent spike in violence. Since the beginning of this month, there have been four separate shootings, five victims in all. The police chief tells me his department is investigating. These are not interconnected shootings. It is uh, most, as I said, involves some type of, of interpersonal issue. Um, some involve drugs. I also asked the chief about Green's concerns about what he would say to residents that live in these communities and fear for their own safety. People need to start ostracizing the, these, this very, very small minority of our community that causes this type of violence. And it is truly, it's a fraction of our, a fraction of a percentage of our population that does this. The police chief tells me that he does expect arrests to come in the coming days. Meanwhile, the Common Council president says enough is enough. She has scheduled a community forum for tomorrow evening. For more information on that, you can just log on to our website, news10.com. For now, we're live in Albany. I'm Amy Cutler for News 10 ABC.